are going to make some veggie stir fry. I just want to thank you all for joining me on tonight. What happened was, I got another stove, okay? I got another stove. Listen, uh, the Facebook Marketplace is wonderful. So I got another stove and what I was trying to do is I was trying to wait for our, my installation of my microwave, I mean my, um, my hood and my um, dishwasher. But the installation hasn't happened yet, but that's okay. We're gonna just go ahead and go through this thing because this is real. This is the way it is. Everything is not matching, but I'm working on it, but that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our um, veggie stir fry. What I did is I went ahead and pre-cut some vegetables. You wanna use fresh vegetables. So I have uh, sliced onions, I have uh, squash and zucchini, I have broccoli, I have uh, mushrooms, green, yellow, orange, and red peppers. I have some uh, some uh, carrots here, celery, and I have a little uh, sauce here to spice it up in the end. I already have some uh, white rice, but you can use brown rice if you're more health conscious. You can use brown rice, and you can also use nothing. You can put pasta, you can add shrimp to it, you can put chicken in it if you wanna do sausage, whatever you like to do. But today, I'm for those who don't eat meat, I'm coming to you. pan. I'm just going to put about a good tablespoon or two of olive oil in my pan to get ready to saute my vegetables. Now what I want to do first is I want to do the vegetable that's the hardest because that's going to take the longest to cook. So usually carrots are the hardest. These are fresh carrots. So I'm just going to just drop these in here and I'm going to just let that saute just a little bit. After that, I'm going to put my celery in. That's the next the next thing that usually takes a little while. And I turn my stove down a little bit because I don't want my vegetables to be brown. I want to keep them nice and white. Now I'm going to put a little bit of my squash and zucchini in it. And now I'm just going to get that going. And it's already looking pretty. Now I'm gonna add my onions. I love onions, so I'm gonna add all of those onions in there. And then I'm going to add in all of my four different types of peppers. They're the softest, so you can just kind of let this simmer for a little bit. And I'm gonna grab my seasonings and we're gonna go ahead and season up our vegetables. I'm just gonna add a little bit extra seasoning. I'm gonna put just a little bit of sliver of ginger. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic. I didn't put the garlic in there in the beginning because I don't want my garlic to burn. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix that around. Okay, got that going. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning, just for a little different flavor, and I am going to add a little bit of coarse sea salt, okay, I'm going to mix that around, it's smelling really, really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my mushrooms, and I left them big because I just like mushrooms, mushrooms are just very meaty, so you can choose to cut them up if you like. But honey, I'm telling you, the aroma on this thing is wonderful. And now I'm going to add my broccoli. And this broccoli is not fresh broccoli. This broccoli is actually frozen broccoli because that's what I had. But if you get if you get um, fresh broccoli, you just you can add it in along with your um, right when you add in your zucchini and squash. Now that right there, oh my goodness y'all, it's smelling so good, it's so beautiful. I'm just gonna let it sit here and just gonna let it simmer. Turn it up just a little bit because I don't want it to get too soggy. And what I'm planning on doing with this is I'm going to go ahead and put it on some rice. Now you can use brown rice, just like I said, if you wanna be a little more health conscious and you don't wanna use white rice and you're not doing the white stuff or the starch or whatever, or if you just wanna do just only vegetables, hey, you got enough here. You can make. You can eat some now. Put 
put some up and eat it tomorrow. You can also add, just like I said, you can add some shrimp to it. So if you like to add shrimp, what I like to do is because shrimp cooks so fast, I like to kind of cook it in another pan and then add it afterwards after it's all done. Because just like I said, because shrimp, we know that cooks really fast. If you want to do um, uh, some chicken, you have some chicken breast left over from another meal, you can cut those in cubes. And you can, um, because it's already cooked, you can throw it in at the end. Now will be a good time to throw it in and just kind of let it just all marinate and everything all together. If you want to do something else, um, if you want to add some noodles, you want to put noodles on top or put this on top of noodles, you can. I mean, there's just so many different things you can do with the stir fry. Now, I'm telling you, y'all, if you all can smell how wonderful it is that ginger and garlic the aroma is just wonderful I'm telling you so now because we want to be more health conscious we want to make sure that we don't cook, cook all of the nutrients out of the vegetables we want to keep the vegetables al dente we want to keep a little crunch to it so I'm just gonna let that sit okay I'm a pour now what I have here is I have um, a little marinade you can use and you can use soy sauce uh, you can put a little uh, teriyaki marinade on it. I'm just going to put a little bit now. You don't have to To be a little more health conscious. You don't have to do the teriyaki, but for me I'm just going to add just a little bit just for a little extra flavor Okay Add a little bit there And I'm just going to stir this around And voila it is it is complete That is beautiful you have a little crunch you want to just taste it to make sure that it has enough uh, has enough um, salt in it or if you if you want it if you're not doing salt you can also use like Mrs. Dash you can use fresh herbs just like I use the ginger and the garlic you can use fresh thyme I use Italian seasoning and you can not you can just not put any of the uh, salt in there so I'm going to set that aside right there I already have some rice that's already pre-made and as I said before you can use brown rice but I'm going to go ahead and get the rice and then I'll plate it up for you and you can see how it is it didn't take long at all the most thing that's going to take is the prepping whatever vegetables you want to do you can add eggplant I mean there's so many different raw vegetables that you can add into this to make this a healthy meal for you so look how beautiful look how colorful that is we don't want to lose the crunch in the vegetables so i turned everything off and i will come back showing you the finished product of our veggie stir fry our veggie stir fry is all complete i'm just going to show you a little trip that I, trick that i learned in uh, culinary school on how to mold now some of you may know some may not but how to mold rice so what i did is i got i have um a little dish here I sprayed it with a little bit of oil I got my rice and I packed it down now usually when you do rice and you're trying to mold it you would put it in the refrigerator or you would like let it sit for a little bit um, so that way it can get a good mold on it but I just make the trick is just to make sure that it's packed packed down I got it here and I'm going to there it is Got the mold there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fresh vegetables and I'm just going to place them around the mold. here if you want to eat a whole whole lot and then we have it here for a nice single serving of food how beautiful is that all right so we thank you so much for joining Koji Gigi Gal and listen I would like for you to give me a thumbs up subscribe and share sharing is caring I thank you so much for watching Koji Gigi Gal hope to see you soon come back again and look if you have any ideas of what you would like for me to cook please send it to me Send me a little a little um, message in the end, and I will try to get that cooked, okay? Thank you so much, Koji Geechee Gal. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.